not into my hair like I used to be. I'm not into hair products. I'm not into watching hair reviews anymore. I'm not into doing my own hair. I'm not into like following all the rules of how to take care of my hair, what not to do, what to do, girl. All right, y'all, so as promised, we are coming back with another video. And it's this real laid back, this real cash, okay? <laughs> Let me give y'all a disclaimer before y'all EB up. <laughs> this is for me, okay? Me, where I am right now in my hair journey, taking a, taking a real sabbatical on caring for my hair as much as I used to. Um, the fact that like I was obsessed over my hair. I wanted to make the process easier, but it's, it's almost like I couldn't. Like I was so into, <laughs> I was so into buying so many hair products. I was into buying so many hair products. When I tell you now, when I go into any store um, that could potentially have hair products, I don't even go on the aisle. Every blue moon, I may go on the aisle and be like, let me see what's new. The same shit that's been there is still there. Um, there are no like new products that are out. And I don't, that is just not, it's not my first priority anymore. Like it used to be. My hair is not suffering. <laughs> my hair is absolutely not suffering um, because I am not overly obsessive on taking care of it. Putting heat on my hair. Girl, when I tell you, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about even getting heat damage. I have not gotten it yet. Um, I did buy a Dyson um, during a Sephora sale last year and I have used it about maybe three times, three times so far. I don't even have to put it on the highest setting and it gets the job done like real quick. Okay. I don't have to worry if I get heat damage, I'm not upset. I'm not upset when I tell you that I will deal with it. I don't even wear like my natural hair out anymore. Like in its curly state, I just don't, it's just a hassle. It's a hassle for me, child. Like I, just, I tried the wig thing and I guess it was getting a little too close to like the summertime. And so I was like, who doing this? I ain't doing this. Um, I do want to color my hair. Do I care about color damp? No. Do I care about chemicals? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. The reason why I say this is because like you really, like we really have to sit back and wonder like, why are we so obsessed, right? Now I understand business wise, right? Because business wise, you're going to be obsessed about whatever it is that's your niche because you getting paid for it or whatever the case may be. But outside of that, right, um, people that you're not doing YouTube or like you don't really have a platform, like you're just hoarding all of these products. We know we're not getting, we're not getting through them. We ain't getting through the products. We're letting them sit. They're getting moldy. They're getting, <laughs> they're getting old. And we're never using them until like we eventually give them away. When I tell you I have so many products. I have so many products sitting over here. Some of them are just, like, I ain't never, when I tell you I ain't never gonna use them again, long gone are the days where I'm gonna be doing um, twist outs, braid outs, like those days are over. So all those curly products that I had, the gels, the like, I, child, I just, I ain't doing it. I have kept it extremely basic where it's, girl, I ain't even pre pooing for what? We ain't doing it. Nah, we ain't doing it. So I shampoo my hair. Um, literally before, like after and before I take my braids down, I'll shampoo my hair twice. Um, I'll use a clarifying shampoo and then I'll use a moisturizing shampoo. Um, I make sure that I deep condition. When I tell you that I deep condition in the shower, I deep condition in the shower. So we put the deep condition on and uh, we clean our body and then we rinse it out. We letting it go. Long gone are the days where I'm sitting around um, the house all day with deep conditioning. For what? We not doing it. Mm -mm. Has my hair suffered? No. No, my hair has not suffered. My hair does not look crazy to me. Now, maybe to a professional. It's like, girl, what you got going on? But to me, to the naked, up to the everyday, I like, it's fine. I just don't want to put so much attention um, on my hair. Um, Y'all know I got like 10 million main choice uh, Cheers gelatos. <laughs> I got so many of them. Why y'all let me do that?
Why y'all let me do that? Because at this point, I don't remember the last time I've used it. Maybe early 2020. Um, so now I just have so many, right? Um, hair products that these celebrities are coming out with. Who's jumping on that bandwagon? Who doing that? We're not doing that no more. Like, I think the last one that I probably jumped on was, um, what's her name? Oh my gosh. My girlfriends, my girlfriend. Y'all know who I'm talking about. What is her name? Oof. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Pattern Beauty. That's the that's the last, I think, product that I bought that was like celebrity based. I'm just because when, why are you so different from my from my suave? Why is you so different from my suave? Are you really? Cause the suave be hitting. That almond and shea butter be hitting. And I feel like if I buy the suave almond and shea butter for the rest of my life, I'll be good. This is because this is where I'm at right now in my hair journey where I just wanna keep it, when I tell you I wanna keep it as simple as possible. Now it's not the fact that like I won't buy new products. If I see something new, I'll buy it. I think Target came out with like a line Ooh, maybe like a year and a half ago or something like that. Jumped on the bandwagon. I bought it. I think the deep condition, no, I think it was the leave-in that I really liked and the rest of the products I didn't like. So it's not like I'm not going to try products. I'm just not going to be as obsessive um, with buying hair products like I used to be. Like, it's that's a lot of money, y'all. It's a lot of money. And I think, <laughs> I think like the older you get, you be wanting to spend that money on something else. You be wanting to spend that money on something else. I'll say me, fragrance, skincare. Like I just, this people, I just be wanting to put them in somewhere else. Actual like experiences, like those hair products are not cheap. Like going to hair shows and stuff like that. I'm not interested. What am I buying? What am I buying? Ain't nobody coming out with nothing new. Oh, even Whitney, <laughs> melanin hair care. So I actually did purchase the, um, y'all gonna flame me up. I did purchase the, the gel, right? That she was coming out with in July? No, June, June, right? Um, so it was pre-order what back in April, I think. So let me, let me tell you who, let me tell you who harassed me, child. Tresses of Alexis. She ended up telling me about it cause I wouldn't have known. Yeah, I ended up pre-ordering it. And by June, I think when it was supposed to ship, it did not ship. I literally ended up getting the gel and then I got, is it a gel or a deep conditioner? Oh, see, I knew I was lying. The deep conditioner. So I ended up um, ordering the deep conditioner and then you know what I'm saying? I wanted to slide her a little more coins. Ended up ordering the, a couple of her scarves. I think like two scarves or whatever. And uh, cause they were real cute, real big. And I was getting tight because I'm like, damn, well, why not just send the scarves ahead of time? Because you know, they're available, even though the deep conditioner, you know what I'm saying? I know I got to wait on that, but I mean, I guess, you know what I'm saying? You send in the whole order at one time, but that's not what Amazon do. Amazon, you know what I'm saying? Whatever is available, they, they ship it out. But anyway, okay, here nor there, I don't forgot about it. So I think like late June comes around and Alexis was like, oh no, it's been pushed back to what, well, the end of July, I think? I said, oh no, I ain't got time for this. I'm doing all this for a freaking deep conditioner? No, 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 it's, I'm okay. So I ended up canceling my order. Like, because I'm like, why am I, <laughs> why am I waiting this long for a freaking deep conditioner? Like I ordered this in what, April? Eight? Girl, no. I do hope the girls love it, you know what I'm saying? And absolutely, you know, I appreciate Whitney and what she has done for the natural hair community, but I ain't, girl, I ain't waiting no three, four months for no deep conditioner. That's crazy. I just, I ain't with it no more, y'all. I just, <laughs> I still love my hair. I love my hair. I will always take care of my hair. I will never mistreat my hair. You will never see me using no rat tail comb to comb my hair in its natural state. No, I will never abuse my hair. I still take care of my hair. I'm just not as obsessive. Like, oh, it was just so many rules. Don't even start me on the curly girl method. Like, it's just a lot. The race is over. Like, that rat race is over for me. Looking at Instagram and YouTube, it's like, it. I feel like it's over there too.
And I still want people to care for their hair. I still want people to love their hair. I still want people to, you know, absolutely take pride in their hair. But it's understandable, like... Me and my friends always joke that, like, you know, the aunties when we was young, that's why they be having a little little fade. They be having a little fade, a little short haircut because they be done. They be over it. It's like once you done, you know, taking care of your hair for so long, you just, you be sick. Okay, you just be like, all right, I don't want to do this no more. But you know, it's absolutely, it's understandable. Things change depending on, you know, where you are in your life. So yeah, maybe two, three years from now, I may be like, look, I'm back. I've always, you know what I'm saying, straddled the fence of locking my hair. Y'all know I still got this lock um, back here. Hold up. It's still there. My lock is still here. My one, <laughs> my one little wisdom lock. So I go back and forth on locking my hair or not locking my hair. I can't do it. I can't make the commitment right now. I can't. I can't. I love, when I tell you I literally stalk um, lock videos on Instagram. Oh my God. Love it so much, but I just can't, I can't make the commitment. I can't, mm, I can't do it. Not right now. We just going to live our best lives. Okay. We going to wake up and know that we could walk outside and I ain't got to take down no braids. I ain't got to take down no braids. I ain't got to undo my twist or none of that. Um, every blue moon, I do miss it. I ain't gonna lie. I do miss it sometimes. Um, when I see a, a girl out with a cute little twist out or like her wash and go, like her hair is nice and big, I'd be like, damn. But then I'd be like, my hair ain't gonna look like that, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter, child, because if my hair get a little bit of heat, uh-uh, like a little bit of that humidity outside, no, my hair ain't looking like that. Not all day. Pfft, lies. So anyway, I just wanted to come real quick and talk to you all about that because I want y'all to feel okay um, if anybody makes the same decision I did, like just to not to take a break, right? To not be so, to take a break, okay? <laughs> to not care, to like let it go, like just let it go, let loose, let it go. Um, take care of your hair how you want to take care of it, not be so like pressed to follow all of these rules and feel like you're going to jail if you don't. You don't have to take a break. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, it's your head. It's your head of hair. Nobody is going to know that you ain't pre-pooing and deep conditioning your hair every time you wash it. Ain't nobody going to know that. Ain't nobody going to know that you're using products with a whole bunch of chemicals in it. Ain't nobody going to know that. Ain't nobody going to know it unless you tell them. Okay. And I just told y'all that I only be deep conditioning for like three to five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. And I don't care. Like, I don't. I still be using my L. There's that. You know what I'm saying? That, um, what's that? Uh, the one with the green label. Ooh, is it rosemary and something? That shampoo is phew, chef's kiss. Okay. I ain't gonna stop using it. I ain't. But anyway, that is all, you guys. I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, sometimes it's okay. It's okay to not follow the rules. It's okay to fall out of love with something. It's okay to, like, want to shift gears in life no matter what it is. No matter what it is, whether it's hair, career, your man, your girl, staying away from friends, whatever. If you you got to do a switcheroo, we got to do a switcheroo. So, there's that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And it's time for me to get on my Peloton, baby. I got a class in like 10 minutes. So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.